Hey everyone, and welcome back to Nexus Mods. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to make your own custom weapon in Fallout 4. We'll be duplicating an existing weapon, renaming it, tweaking its stats, and getting it into the game. Before we start, make sure you've got a copy of Fallout 4, obviously, the Fallout 4 creation kit, which you can find on Steam for free, and our Vortex Mod Manager to load your new item into the game. As ever with Bethesda games, if you're using a fresh install, it's a good idea to load the game first. Just get to the main menu and quit. That just ensures that all the game files are created and they're in the right spot before we start modding. Okay, now let's boot up that creation kit. When you first launch it, you're going to see a few warning pop-ups. Don't panic, that's totally normal. Just close all those warnings or minimize them if they don't want to close and get your workspace organized just how you want it. You can always peek at them later if something's going wrong. You'll notice three key windows. The object window, where all your items, weapons and objects are listed. The render window, where you can view the game world or interiors that you're loading. And the cell view window, where you can choose those specific areas to load. To start, let's go to File, Data, double click Fallout4.esm and press OK. The kit's going to load all the game's data. It might look like it's frozen for a minute, don't worry, it is doing its thing, it just takes some time. In the object window, expand the items category. You can scroll through and have a look what's in there, but for this demo, I'm just going to search for 10mm. Once you've found something you want to change, just right click it and hit duplicate. That's going to add a new item with copy in the name. Double click on it to open the properties window. Rename it to something unique. Giving your item a unique ID that clearly links it to your mod is the best practice. It keeps things tidy, it makes your items easier to find later, and it'll help avoid conflicts if another mod uses a similar name. It's always important to duplicate an item first before you edit it, even if the creation kit asks you if you want to make a copy after an edit. It avoids unnecessary changes to the game hidden within your mod, called dirty edits. Here, you can adjust loads of stats, but for now, we'll just stick to the basics. In this example, I'm going to rename mine to Old Reliable, and I'll just make it do loads of damage. Why not? When you're done, hit OK. Go to File, Save, and give your new plugin a clear name, something like MyPistolMod.esp. You can then open your mod again by simply clicking on the folder icon in the top left. Check it in the dialog box, but also click Set as Active File. Let's place the weapon in the world. To do that, you're going to want to use the Cell View box and search by Commonwealth and find it in the list. I'll go with the Starlight Drive-In, partly because I'm the video guy, but also it's nice and recognizable. Double click to load it into the render window. Once it's loaded up, hold the mouse scroll button to move your camera around the world. I'm going to place the weapon in front of this car, so it's simple enough to find and I have a landmark to follow in the game. It's just a case of dragging your mod from the object list straight into the render window, and then once you've dropped it and you're happy with the position, hit File and Save. Okay, now it's time to open Vortex. Make sure, first of all, that you are managing Fallout 4. You'd be amazed how often I forget that. Go to the Plugins tab, and you should see your plugin listed in there. Make sure it's enabled. Once that's done, you can launch Fallout 4. At the main menu, you can check if your mod's enabled by going to Mods and then Load Order. You can see right here that it's active. Now, head to the location you place your item. If everything worked, you should see your brand new custom item waiting for you in game right where you left it. Just look at that damage. If you make something really cool and you want to share it with the world, just remember to upload your mod to Nexus Mods. It's really easy and you'll have access to an audience of millions. And that's it, that's really all there is to it. You've made your first custom item for Fallout 4. Congratulations. If this helped, give this video a like. Keep an eye out for more Fallout content coming soon. We've got tutorials for Fallout 4 and for Fallout New Vegas. See ya.